What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here at Bully Garage. So today we have a video about the chaser, as you can see here. Um, so we're going to be talking about stuff we're going to do to the car, what has been done to the car, pros and cons about the car. We've had it now for a week, so we've got a bit of bit more feedback on how the car drives and everything about it. We've had the car now for one week. It's been quite nice to drive. It probably is the best car I've driven. It's very smooth on the road, no hiccups, and being six cylinder turbo, it is very responsive. We'll start with the pros and cons about this car. Um, the pros first, it is a six cylinder car. It's quite responsive. It is very nice to drive. Um, you know, it is a bit low, but that's okay. We can manage with that. We will be getting that fixed soon, hopefully. Um, other than that, you know, I haven't had any hiccups. Everything works. The aircon's great for a 22-year-old car. That is what you want. Nice aircon. Um, let's see what else we have. You know, just generally, I don't really have anything wrong with it. Now it's time for some cons. The body kit down here. It's a bit where. Wear it out. It's a bit loose. We'll have to get around to fixing that. Also, back here. As you see, it's got a little crack in it. Probably was from before it come to the country, but we will fix that with time. Uh, we've also got this back window tint. As I said in the previous video, it is a bit dark. It is all bubbly. We will get around to fixing that. And that will be probably one of the things we do soon. Also, other cons with the car is the back tail light is out. We will fix that. At the front of the car, we do have a little bit of a faulty starter motor and we will be replacing the radiator soon. Hopefully it doesn't break on us before we have to replace it. Okay, so we'll do a little tour of the car. Last week, I didn't really get around to it. So at the front, you can see the intercooler hanging out. Um, as time goes on, we might replace that to get a more power performance one but at this stage it's okay um, you know we've still got these ugly old nissan tires hopefully we get some new ones soon we'll have to wait and find out we also will be adding some new suspension to the car as the suspension that is on the car is pretty old hopefully it will adjust the ride height a little and make it a lot more smoother to drive the bodywork is pretty straight there is a little bit of paint say just here but we will be fixing that. We're not too worried about that. When we come around to the back of the car, it is quite nice. It's still got these old retro seats. And as you can see, there is a bit of room back here. It is quite comfortable. You can fit two other people here quite easily, or you just have it as a two-seater car and you could take the back seats out. It is always up to you. It's quite roomy at the front. You still have all your electronics. You also have some electronics back here with this fake carbon fiber. Hopefully we can find somewhere to replace this. If you know of someone that can replace this, comment down below, hey Matt, I got someone that can replace this. So coming around to the boot now, there is quite a bit of room back here. And we also have a little light up here. It probably is aftermarket, but it does the job. The boot opens and closes very freely. So we have quite a big list of mods that will be getting done to this car over the next couple of months, if not longer. Um, but it all comes with subscribers and likes. So if you please could hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share it to your friends, share it to your family. It all helps and it is free. One of the mods we will be doing to the car is to get this wrapped. As you can see, it's a dark green in this reflection. You can see that right here. Comment down below what color you think we should get this wrapped. We have a couple colors in mind, but we're not too sure. But at the end of the day, it's up to you guys watching the videos to choose what color we wrap it. So comment down below which color you do think, and we'll keep that in mind. We also will be getting, um, we will be getting a wing for the back that will go along here. And also one up here as a little roof wing as well. We just got to find where to get them from. These back fenders here will be getting some wide body guards that will look quite nice. Um, once again, we're just gonna find where to get them from, what color we're gonna do them and how they will all turn out. We also have a few mods to do inside the car. We will be 
maybe we could put a sunroof up here. We're not too sure about that yet. We will also be trying to swap this trim here, the trim here, and there is some trim here and obviously in the back. If we can find some carbon trim to swap that with, the gear knob here we could also change out um, to go with the colour of the wrap. So in the engine bay here we have some aftermarket intercooler, an aftermarket air filter. As you can see the car is a bit dirty, it needs a good degrees, a nice tidy up. We'll be coming through throughout the time and upgrading some of these parts, making it look a lot more nice and clean. As you can see, that's a bit old and that definitely needs to look nice. Thanks again for tuning into this week's video. I hope you liked it. Um, stay tuned for next week as we will be doing weekly videos. Hopefully we can upload more than once a week, but at this stage it'll just be once a week. So thanks again for watching. Have a good week.